what's up guys just a gamer here with another f2p to legendary video uh last video we used dragon priest i told you guys i'd switch it up i'm using my most expensive deck that i have i got pretty lucky on packs and i got the i have lich king right there i was able to craft that actually but i have the nine the nine drop that's three seven and when it dies it respawns all your all your taunt minions so right now so it's more of a fun deck that I like to use I I think it's still pretty effective I think I should still get wins it's more just flooding the board with the taunts and then eventually in the end you just have so much value you can overcome basically anything if, it, if it's not aggro really For, I don't really have heal but I do have earthen scales so that's how I'm assuming I'll be able to beat this mage I'm going to be able to earthen scales probably my Medivh now nah, just thinking about that now since I'm seeing I'm playing in some pre uh mage. A mage isn't the best matchup for me since I don't have heal like I said previously. But if I can get both my earthing scales onto something like a Medivh, that's fifteen extra armor. Which usually should put me out of range if it's not like a like a one turn kill type of deck, an O T K type of deck that they have, which it's usually not I don't see it's not quest, so it's not gonna. They're not gonna be able to have the extra turn. So I'm assuming I should be able to win this game just off of Medivh and Earthen Scales. And as, as you can see, guys, you should always kind of plan out what your win condition is. I'm seeing that I'm playing a mage. I know it's not a favorable matchup, but I'm trying to think of how I do win a, the matchup. And it's just gonna be having to out this out last my opponent by using earthen skills I'm just gonna I don't really have a turn so I'm just gonna draw and I'm gonna hero power should I hero power and clear or should I if I wild growth next turn I'm at six mana I don't really have a six mana play do I want to just keep the one three up as I don't even know um hmm I think next turn wild growth might be a little better if I don't have a turn five play. I could just I still have the one three on board. I'll be able to wild growth and maybe hero power or something. Maybe draw something that'd be easy that would be playable. Or I, yeah, I don't think it would be a good choice wild growth in there, but I'm not too sure. He plays that he plays this card which is usually used in quest matchups to add another random spell and he had babbling book so I'm confused if he's playing the quest package and just didn't play down the quest yet which I'm assuming is what he's doing now yeah okay so it is the quest so he did get one less he did get one less value from not putting down the quest and using the coin but now I'm a little bit worried because he does have the one turn kill potential so now I kind of have to switch up how I'm thinking. I kind of have to move a little quicker. I can't just outlast them. I'm gonna have to put down. I'm just gonna put down the taunt minions. Hopefully next turn I can get off a bone mayor on one of them. Just start pushing some damage. This definitely is not an ideal matchup for me since he does have the one turn kill potential. To the so even my earthen scales doesn't really help me. Since he can just, he has all the time in the day to just throw fireballs. So I am a bit worried. I'm going to, I'm going to bone mayor that one. Check for vaporize. Hit him five in the face. See what he does. I'm assuming he's going to have to double trade into my minion and then probably fireball it. Or. I guess he's just gonna rely on the mirror images to hold down the door. He frost bolts it actually, which isn't gonna kill it, but I guess he's just trying to he's just trying to stop it from applying pressure. Smart by him. I don't think trading into it this turn would be correct by him. So I he does trade into it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna primordial Drake five to the face clear his whole board now I'm vulnerable to 
I'm vulnerable to Flame Strike. That's really it. He has Flame Strike from Battling Book. Jeez, that's that's pretty lucky by him. I'm gonna Medivh now. I'm just gonna get the Medivh down, apply more pressure. Seven seven. Hopefully he he doesn't have any weapon tech. I don't think they run weapon tech in that in that deck since they're so revolved around just getting random spells. And I'll be able to pop him if he can't clear any of my minions. He does have though, he does have the the eight armor once I attack, so I'm not gonna be able to pop him actually. So now I'm just thinking I play down some smaller taunts and I shell shift it. Get some value from that. Harder to deal with now. Uh, I, think I actually could have popped him this turn. That was a misplay by me. I could have shell shifted, swiped, and then hit him with my Atiash and my armor up and he would have I would have popped him so that is a bit of a misplay but I think this way if he doesn't have freeze which he does but I'm still gonna be able to pop him this turn so I'm not too worried hopefully he doesn't have another freeze another ice block in his hand is it just better for me to do this but actually no not yet I'm gonna I'm gonna four mana. I have one more, one more charge on my Atiash. I pop him, and next turn I have ultimate infestation. So hopefully he doesn't have another ice block already, and that'd just be me winning the game. What's his quest at? His quest is at three of six, so I he does have another. He does have another ice block. Hopefully he doesn't try more to go into another one. Right now I'm thinking, is it, I actually can't, I was thinking if it was better for me to just trade my Atiash, get him down to one, and then ultimate infestation him and not get the 10 drop, just so I could, he'd have to constantly freeze me, or he'd lose, but he froze me already anyway, so I'm just gonna have to ultimate infestation his face, get a 10 drop. The 10 drop honestly isn't too valuable, because he probably has free spells, so it would have been better for me to get him down to one health but and I, I burned my swipe that's so frustrating that's how I would have killed him I'm gonna just I'm just gonna get rid of the innervate it's not really that useful of a card anymore I could have just used the, the earthen scales on my yog but I don't think it matters too much so now I'm just hoping he doesn't have he doesn't have another freeze he hopefully doesn't have enough time to complete his his quest but it looks like he does oh jeez how, how does he have the two the two extra spells oh he's just hoping to get it from Cabalist Tome okay mirror image is pretty pretty lucky and I guess probably, he probably got something off the glyph which is the secret okay I don't think, hopefully he doesn't have Antonitis, and if he does, he he does win, I, because, yeah, he still wins if he has Antonitis, so hopefully he doesn't have it, that's all I can bank on, and he has it, and that's why I hate playing this matchup, literally it doesn't matter how good you play, they just, they just draw what they need, they have two ice blocks, they have the Antonitis, they have everything, and you can't really win. That's a concede, but you can see the power in this deck. I was controlling the game pretty well. If he just 
if he just didn't get the, if he didn't have double ice block and if he didn't just have his full combo that soon I would have won pretty easily maybe it was a mistake me not popping him earlier because it's always a race against time against quest mages and you always want to pop them as early as possible so that was probably just a misplay by me I should have popped him earlier instead of just going for more value because more value with the shell shifter on those taunts doesn't really get me anywhere since they can just freeze it's a constant freeze of your minions with whole with frost nova and blizzard so that was a pretty big misplay by me i guess i should have just went for the early break of the ice block that's my that's my mistake you know you win some you lose some you just always got to think about it and learn from the game i'm going to full mulligan this against warlock i don't know what type of warlock it is it's probably death knight warlock but none of those cards are really useful right now and if it's zoo i definitely want something to be able to deal with a little bit of the early game like the two drop right there so i'm just going to full mulligan see what type of deck he has you can usually tell by the first couple cards they play so he he just passes so he's probably honestly not zoo just from him passing the first turn The one, the Voidwalker doesn't really tell you too much because people use that in the Death Knight package as well. So I still can't put a read on his deck. But I'm just going to play on the 1-5. The just make sure if he is Zoo, he can't just overpower me in the early game. And if he's not, and he's, he is Zoo. Okay, so I have a pretty good hand to deal with the Zoo lock right now. So I'm really not worried. I'm just gonna go for the f the three damage, no value. Kill the Flappy Bird. No point in going for going for the one damage draw card, making it more difficult on yourself, risking it hitting your face and just snowballing into something you can't deal with. I don't know if I should trade or I shouldn't. If I do trade, what's the worst that happens? I don't think anything bad. I'm not gonna trade. I'm just gonna. I'm going to let him make the trades. I have the value. I have the taunts. He has to make the trades if he is Zulok, which I'm assuming he is. And he is. So, only only problem I can see myself having with this deck is Bone Mares. So, I'm just going to always have to be ready for a Bone Mare. Do I have a good swipe this turn? Not really. Hmm. don't really have a good play this turn I can I can swipe I can swipe I'm just gonna swipe that do I swipe that I'm gonna swipe this coin earth and scale so now he can't just clear it off with with the three two he has to hopefully he hopefully doesn't run more to coil or one damage yeah so that's decent for me hopefully yeah he has to trade off that which is amazing for me now his his biggest threat so far in the game is dealt with hopefully I can draw okay that's not bad that's a pretty good draw now I can spreading plague okay so now I'm feeling pretty good next turn I still don't have a play but if I can just get to turn seven I can curator turn eight I can primordial Drake and then probably be looking pretty good hopefully he doesn't have doom guard it's not too bad if he does but it's just the fact that the two cards he discards he still gets to draw them back due to the imp which is pretty good value for him I don't want him having that so hopefully he doesn't have doom guard and if I'm just gonna say if he doesn't this game's pretty much over Especially if I draw something decent next turn to play. He's hovering over that card. I don't know what it would be. I'm just assuming it's going to be Doom Guard, because that's the that's usually the best card in their deck. If not for he has Doom Guard, okay. He probably should have played down the one mana two one and buffed the minion. But who knows? I think that probably would have been a better play because I don't think he has clean trades now. So I have a pretty good wall right now. I'm going to be able to clear. Hmm. 
that's not really the card I wanted to see. I'm going to have to hero power, clear this, hit this. Keep, I'm not going to trade in with that other minion, there's no point. So he's going to trade in the 2 2 into my 1 2, the 3 2 into my 1 3. Doom Guard to the face. Next turn, I Primordial Drake. And I basically deal with all his threats. Prince Kelseth, that's that's a good card and it's gonna be difficult to deal with his minions after this but it's still gonna be cleared by my primordial drake and then i think after that i should just be able to blow him out due to the high value minions i have so oh wait I, it's not I, it's not turn eight. Oh my god i was setting up like it was turn eight i can only curate her wow that's actually pretty terrible i don't i don't draw i have curator to draw Primordial Drake usually and the Hadronax, but I also have a Twilight Drake in there just for some mid game. I don't know if the Twilight Drake is the best card, but I don't really know what else I would use there, so I just keep the Twilight Drake. It seems like he's going to be able to hit me in the face for a decent amount, but I'm still going to be able to clear everything with Primordial Drake. He has Bone Mirror. Like I said, that is the card that would give me the most trouble. So hopefully. Hopefully my Primordial Drake is able to hold the wall well enough to that he has to trade both of those minions and that would be amazing. And the next turn I Lich King Earthen Scales. Please don't be a good don't don't be Doom Guard. Okay, Corsair isn't crazy. Oh, but he has patches. He still doesn't win though. So I don't, I think I'm still fine. Hopefully I can just recover. Hopefully I get the, I get the Lich King card, deal three damage. Nope, I got Anti-Magic Shell. That's one of the better cards, but in this situation right now, it's definitely not what I needed. He's gonna be able to trade the seven, three and the two, three into my death, into my Lich King. Hopefully he doesn't have any good minions to reload. That's all he probably has Doom Guard if he's playing down the imp. I'm not sure though. Okay, so far he probably has the three three in his hand actually. No, he doesn't. Okay. Oh geez, that was such a good card for him to draw. Okay, I'm going to just, hmm, I'm going to have to Bone May or something, I'm assuming. I'm going to play down this. Okay, actually, I'm doing this, this, and do I just anti-magic shell? Okay, that's the plan. It's going to be hard for him to trade into my minions. That's what I'm hoping. Next turn, I still have the two drop into the bone mayor for more more protection so i'm hoping he's not going to be able to break through this what really only thing that i could have is another bone mayor off the top that's literally one of the cards he desperately needed and he's able to clear that so well with the dread lord oh the bone mayor the bone mayor literally just ruined me right there I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep trying to build up this wall. There's not much else I could do. He's able to kill each and every one of these minions and still hit me for one in the face. And none of his minions die. So I don't really know how I come back from here. The double bone mayor draw for him, especially right when he needed it was insane. If he didn't draw that Bone Mare, I would have been able to full clear him and play down probably the Hadronax or the Bone Mare myself and just start pushing and regain the board and probably win the game. But that Bone Mare draw really hurt me. And this Malchazar's Imp is just giving him so much value. It's insane. 
I'm pretty sure I lost this game. He's going to trade, trade, six damage to the face. Another Despicable Dreadlord. This is definitely not how you want it to go, but he just drew the cards he needed when he needed them. And there's not much you could do about that. I don't see how I win this. I don't think I can. I don't. Swipe does nothing. Maybe another Primordial Drake, but that's not Primordial Drake. That's in the D If I drew Primordial Drake, I actually could have maybe recovered. But that is not Primordial Drake. That is Medivh. And this Hadronax is such a good card, but such a bad card. Maybe if it had Taunt and they have to attack it, it would be such a, an amazing card. But it's just no Taunt. He just. He can just hit. It just goes just straight through. Like, it's just such a card where you have to be ahead on board or you lose. So that's a that's a loss. It happens. Double losses this this match. It's not what you wanted, but you can kind of see the potential in this deck. Against the mage, it was just unfortunate that I didn't pop him as soon as I could have. I was just a misplay by me. And there it was just he drew bone. I said it in the early game. I said Bone Mayor was going to be the difficult part to deal with, and he just drew Bone Mayor every time, right when he needed it. And if he didn't, I definitely would have run ran away with the game. But it's just unfortunate that's what he drew. That's two losses. I'm. It's obviously not the greatest deck, so I'm not too surprised and disappointed. We'll start climbing with a better deck tomorrow, probably. Probably Dragon Priest again, or maybe Evolve Shaman. I still haven't used the priest, I mean not the priest, the hunter, so I might use the hunter, just show that, but I'm not sure, I didn't, I'm sorry about the losses guys, but it happens, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'm out guys, peace, thanks for watching.